Hello everybody, it's Dumplet here. Welcome back. Welcome to the second episode of Dumplet Tutorials. Today's topic is on the number of divisors and the sum of divisors of a positive integer. Without further ado, let us start today's topic. Now, you guys should already be familiar with the concept of divisors. Take the example below. Suppose we're dealing with the positive integer 6. Now, 6 has 4 factors or 4 divisors. Now, the, con the, um, the convention here, we're just going to take divisors to be positive. Although some references would explicitly say that it's a positive divisor, I'm just going to call it a divisor. So the positive integer 6 has 4 factors or 4 divisors, 1, 2, 3, and 6. Simply because 6 is divisible by 1, 6 is divisible by 2, and divisible by 3, and divisible by 6. Now, there are no other positive integers other than these four that 6 is divisible by. Now, the sum of divisors, very simple, just simply add all the factors. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6, and this gives us 12. So, for today, I will be telling you guys a shortcut or a method for you to get the number of divisors and the sum of the divisors of a positive integer of a positive integer easily. So let's start with the first positive integer. Let's try to deal with the number 12. We can always write the positive integers, sorry, the positive divisors of 12. So I, 1, since 12 is, 12 is divisible by 1, by 2, by 3, by 4, by 6 and then by 12. Now listing them all down, there are uh, a total of 6 uh, divisors, so there are 6 factors of 12, and if I add all of them, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 12, I should be getting 28. And so the number of divisors is 6, the sum of the divisors is 28, and this is indeed correct. Now how do we get the, uh, how do we get this using a shortcut? So the first key step is for you to be able to prime factorize the number. So we want to be able to prime factorize 12. Now recall our prime factorization, and we can write 12 as a product of prime factors. So 12 here has a prime factorization of 2 squared times 3. Now we need to prepare 2 um, expressions for us to be able to get the number of factors and the sum of the factors or the number of divisors and the sum of the divisors of 12. Now for this for the number of divisors we need to check the exponents of each prime number in the prime factorization. So the power of 2 here is 2 and the power of 3 is actually 1. So 3 raised to 1 now, the next thing we have to do is we add 1 to all of the exponents. Now, since there are two exponents, we will have two numbers that we multiply together. So it's not 2 and 1. We add 1 to both of them. So it's going to become uh, 2 plus 1 times 1 plus 1. And this will give you the number of positive divisors. In fact, 2 plus 1 is 3 and 1 plus 1 is 2. So 3 times 2 would give us 6, as shown a while ago when we listed down all the positive divisors of 12. Now next, for the sum of the positive divisors, again, the number of factors is the same as the number of prime numbers that 12 is divisible by, so we expect two factors. Now to get the sum, very simple, we start writing powers of primes. From the lowest exponent, which is 0, to the highest exponent. So what do we mean by that? So let's take the example of uh, the prime power of 2 here. So we start with 2 raised to 0, which is also equal to 1. And then we write powers of 2 until we reach this term. So 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, and then 2 raised to 2. And then we simply add them. Now, suppose if this was a 2 raised to 3 instead, then we're going to add a 
an additional 2 raised to 3. But since um, the power of the prime factor 2 here is 2, so we write from 2 raised to 0 up to 2 raised to 2. Now for the 3 raised to 1, the lowest power of 3 is 3 raised to 0, and then the highest power is 3 raised to 1. So we add powers of 3 from 3 raised to 0 up to 3 raised to 1. So it's just 3 raised to 0 plus 3 raised to 1. Now, 2 raised to 0 is 1, 2 raised to 1 is 1, sorry, 2 raised to 1 is 2, and 2 raised to 2 is 4. This would give us 7. And 3 raised to 0 plus 3 raised, 3 raised to 1, that gives us 4. And multiplying 7 and 4, we're going to get 28, which are the two answers that we got. So, for the case of the positive integer 12, 6 is a number of positive divisors. Let's say n is a number. And 28 here is the sum of the positive divisors. Let's try to go to the next item. All right, let's try to consider 45. Now, pause this video if you need some time to get our prime factorization or to list down all the positive divisors of 45. But if you're done, continue watching. Let's try to list down all the positive integer divisors of 45. Well, 45 is divisible by 1, 45 is divisible by 3, 5, 9, uh, 15, and then 45. And you can verify that there are no other numbers that 45 is divisible by. So, if you want to get the number of positive divisors, that's going to be 6. If you're going to get the sum, we simply add 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 9 plus 15, plus 45, and this should give you an answer of 78. All right, now let's try to use the prime factorization method to verify whether or not 6 and 78 is correct. So, we first get the prime factorization of 45. Now, we know that 45 is 9 times 5, so 9 is 3 squared, and then we have a 5, so the prime factorization of 45 is 3 squared times 5. Now let's deal with the number of positive integer divisors. So same thing, we take the exponents. Now the 5 here has an exponent of 1, so 2 and 1 are the exponents. So we exp there are only two prime numbers that 45 is divisible by, so we expect a product of two numbers here. So 2 and 1, so we want to add 1 to 2 and 1, and then we multiply them. So this is the same case as the last example. So 2 plus 1 times 1 plus 1, that gives us 3 times 2, so it's 6. So the value of n that we got is actually correct. So this is the value of n. Now let's check whether or not the sum of the factors is actually 78. Now since we have powers of 3 and powers of 5, two prime numbers, so we expect a product of two numbers as well. Now for th the power of 3, we start with the lowest power, 3 raised to 0. And then we write until the largest power of 3, which is 3 squared. So we write until 3 squared. Now for 5, we start from 5 raised to 0, and we end at 5 raised to 1. So it's just 5 raised to 0 plus 5 raised to 1. Now 3 raised to 0 plus 3 raised to 1 plus 3 raised to 2, that's equal to 13. And then 5 raised to 0 plus 5 raised to 1, that's equal to 6. So 13 times 6, you guessed it, it's 78. So we have 78 to be the sum of the divisors of 45, which is correct. Let's try the next example. Let's try to deal with the number 126. All right, um, we can still try to list them down. So 1, 2, 3... 4 doesn't work, um, 6 works, 7 works, 8 doesn't work, oh, 9, nine works, 10, 11, 12, 14. What else? Um, 18, 21, 42. 63, and then 126. All right, take note, as the numbers increase, obviously, chances are 
it's going to have more factors. And I might have missed some of the numbers here. And that is the reason why learning this um, shortcut or trick is very essential because when dealing with larger numbers, it will be almost impossible for you to count the number of positive integer divisors, let alone just add all of them. All right, so uh, let's, just, let's just try to get the value of n. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So from counting, I get that n equals 12. So let's just verify if it's correct. So same thing, we must get the prime factorization. So 126, okay, I see that uh, the sum of the digits is 9, so I know the number is divisible by 9, so it's going to involve some 3 squared in prime factorization. So, okay, we have this as a prime factorization. So 2 times 3 squared times 7. So now we have 3 prime factors. So let's, trust, let's take the exponents, so that's 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, sorry, 2 raised to 1, 3 raised to 2, and 7 raised to 1. Now we need to check the number of positive integer divisors. We add 1 to the exponent, so 1 plus 1. Now since there are 3 exponents, it's a product of 3 different numbers. So 1 plus 1 times 2 plus 1 times 1 plus 1. And this gives us 2 times 3 times 2. And this gives, oh, this gives, this gives us 12. So the value of n that we got from counting was actually correct. But as seen by the number of positive integer divisors, it's very tedious for us to add all 12. So let us apply this method instead. So starting with the power of 2, again, since there are three prime factors, sorry, there are three prime numbers that 126 is divisible by, we expect a product of three terms. Right, for 2 raised to 1, we start from the smallest factor, sorry, the smallest power of 2. So 2 raised to 0 plus 2 raised to 1. So for 3 squared, we start from 3 raised to 0, and then 3 raised to 1, and then 3 raised to 2. For 7 raised to 1, 7 raised to 0, plus 7 raised to 1. Now, this will give us 3, since 1 plus 2. This will give us 13, and this will give us 8. So what we have to do is we multiply 3 times 13 times 8, and this gives us 312. Now let's check if our answer is correct. Yes, it is. So note how as the numbers increase, obviously the prime factorization is going to get more complex. So the number of devices is going to increase, let alone the sums. So what more in the next example when the number has become a four-digit number? So 2520, um, I don't think we want to write anything because after 1, 2, there's just a lot of numbers to cover from 1 to 2520. So let us just go directly into getting the prime factorization. All right? You can pause this video and give yourself some time to prime factorize. But if you're done, I'm going to show the prime factorization right now. So the prime factorization of 2520 is 2 cubed times 3 squared times 5 times 7. Note how there are four prime factors now. So it is expected that um, both expressions here will have a product of four numbers. So same thing, we take the exponent, 3, 2, 1, and then 1. So we would expect our answer to become 3 plus 1 times 2 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1. So it's equal to... 4 times 3 times 2 times 2, this gives us 48. So if we are, if we are to list down uh, the prime, sorry, the positive integer divisors of 2520, we'll have to list 48, let alone add all of them and, give, and get the sum of the divisors, right? So this method is indeed very helpful. So next, for the sum of the roots, sorry, for the, for the sum of the positive integer divisors, Again, we expect four factors. Now, for 2 cubed, we start from the lowest factor, 2 raised to 0. Then we add 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3. For the 3 squared, we start from 3 raised to 0, plus 3 raised to 1, plus 3 squared. For 5 raised to 1, 5 raised to 0, plus 5 raised to 1. For 7, 7 raised to 0 plus 7 raised to 1. Now, 
this number is obviously very big and in fact we have the answer here to be 9360. So again we have this 48 to be the number of positive integer number of positive integer divisors. The 9360 here would be the sum of the positive integer divisors. All right, for the final practice item, let us try to get the number of factors and the sum of the factors of 10,000. So it's already a five digit number, so well, we don't want to write any, we don't want to list down, I guess. So prime factorization of 10,000, that's actually very simple because it's just 10 raised to four. So we have two raised to four times five raised to four. Now, we expect, since the exponents are 4 and 4, hopefully you guys are getting along quickly now. So 4 and 4, we expect this to become 4 plus 1 times 4 plus 1, and this will give us 25, because it's just 5 times 5. And for the bottom, we expect uh, 2 raised to 0 plus 2 raised to 1 until 2 raised to 4 times 2 raised to 0 plus until, until 2 raised to 4 multiplied by 5 raised to 0, plus so on and so forth, until 5 raised to 4. And in fact, we will be correct. So 4 plus 1 takes 4 plus 1 and gives us 25. And here we have the sum of the roots, sorry, the sum of the positive integer divisors. So 25 here is the number of positive divisors of 10,000. And 24,211 over here is the number, is the sum of the positive integer divisors. All right. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Hopefully you'll be able to utilize the trick in getting the number, sorry, the getting the number of divisors or even the sum of the divisors quickly. Now, as a final item, you guys can answer and you guys can solve and answer in the comment section down below. Try to get the number of positive integer divisors as well as the sum of the positive integer divisors of the number 1456. All right, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.